with Monkey Me and the New Neighbor. Chapter Eight. Principal Murphy. Claudia carried a plate of cookies out the door. I tried to grab on, but my sister slammed my hands. Lap. Mom said these are for our new neighbor, Principal Murphy. She said we don't have to see the principal, do we? I ask. Of course we do. Claudia said we we can't just leave the cookies on her front steps to ring the doorbell and run. Why not? I asked. Claudia rolled her eyes. Come on, Clyde. She stepped onto Principal Murphy's front porch and rang the doorbell. The doorbell, the door swung open. Principal Murphy stood in the doorway. She stared at that, down at us. I got. Claudia had had it. Handed our Principal Murphy the plate of cookies. Welcome to the neighborhood. I waited for, I wait for our principal, principal to growl. Instead, she smiled. Thank you, Claudia and Clyde. She said, "Would you like to come in?" No, I quickly said, "We need to get back to doing our homework." Claudia gave me a surprised look. Principal Murphy pointed to the cookies. I, I couldn't use some help eating these. My stomach growled. Well, maybe we could come in," I said. "But only for a few cookies. I mean, only for a few minutes." Pla- Principal Murphy led us inside. I saw. I. Thought I would see wooden chairs and a big desk, like in her office at school. But the living room had two soft, soft chairs, and a sofa, and a TV. The principal set the cookies on the small table. Help yourself, she said. I grabbed and ate a few as I looked around. The boxes were e- everywhere. Some were open. In one, a spoil something I didn't expect. I raced towards the box. Baseball cards! I shouted. Principal Murphy smiled. I've collected them since I was your age, Clyde. She showed me a signed Ty Homer card. That's worth a lot of money, I said. I looked through the box of cards. These are are amazing. Principal Murphy smiled. Then, she, then I spotted a wild white cat poking her head into the room. Come off in, Principal Murphy said. These are our new neighbors. Then the ta- cat looked at Claudia and me. Then she ran out of the room. Murphy is a bit shy. Principal Murphy said, "But you met." Meet her someday soon. I've already met her. I said, "You have? Well,、wow. the principal looks surprised. Claudia looked worried. I mean, I quickly said, 'I can't wait to, I can't wait to meet her. But right now, Clyde, I need to get back to our homework.' Claudia said, 'Already, I asked. I grabbed the last cookie and followed Principal Murphy to the front door.'" Thank you,、uh, thank you again, children. You're welcome to come back any time. Principal Murphy smiled as Cla- Claudia and I leave. Leave. So, what do you think of our new neighbor, Clyde? Claudia asked as we walked home. I can't believe it, I said. But that Principal Murphy co- collects baseball cards. Claudia asked, "Does Principal Murphy seem normal?" I said, "And nice." Chapter nine. Trapped. The next morning, the next morning, I jumped out of bed. I still couldn't believe it. Principal Murphy is nice. I said to Claudia as we raced to school. But when I ran onto the playground, I saw Principal Murphy carrying her big net.
A troublemaker is not going to run loose in school, my school. The principal said that we wave, wave her not in the air and continue scratching for the monkey. The monkey me. It's her job. Claudia said she bought a nice woman and the school principal. I scratched my hands down. Kapow! Suddenly, I was on the ground looking up the at Ross. It's your fault, Principal Murphy. Look, my took my skateboard yesterday. She yelled. I didn't know what what. I didn't know what to say, so I ran. I ran around the playground when the door, when the bell rang. I ran. I ran inside to my classroom where I was safe from Ross, but not from Miss Plum. My teacher wasn't happy when she found out I didn't have anything for show and tell. Did you hear me tell the class yesterday we will finish your and tell today? She asked. No, I said, because I was in the office. Miss Plum wasn't happy about that either. Please bring something to show and tell, Tamara replied. She said, I will, I said. When school was over, I ran home and look, looked for something for show and tell. I looked in my bathroom and in the basement. I looked outside and found Ross. She was standing on my front lawn. We have some unfinished business little bag. Standing next to her was Chopper, a bulldog. He grunted. He growled and I ran. I felt the ground behind me shake. I am faster than Ross, but not faster than Chopper. I looked for a tree to climb. They were, they were gone. I looked at the large trunk bush in front of me and quickly stopped and turned. He traveled about Ross and Chapter 10. Goodbye, little boss. My knee shook. Ralph looked angry. Chopper looked angry. What are you going to do? I asked. Squash me in me? No, Ralph grinned. You are going to do something even worse. Ralph grabbed my arm. She Push me to Principal Murphy's house. The principal's car was not in the driveway, but there was a small truck parked in front of the house. Ross pushed me to the tall fence around the principal's backyard. He opened the fence door and shoved me inside. Goodbye, little black Ross. Says, he saw she would never see me again. Then she slammed the face door shut and left. Ross thought I was in trouble. Of course, I didn't tell Ross Principal Murphy wasn't home or that we we were friends. But I did print to be still. Help, help, I yelled. Let me out. I heard Chopper's happy bark. I heard Ross laugh louder. Then I heard them walk away from the fence. Ha, it worked, I said to myself. Fooling Ross was fun. I smiled and looked around. The back, the back door to Principal Murphy's house was open. I heard the bumping noise. I peeking, I peeked in the doorway. I heard a cat meow. I heard muffin sound scared. So I stepped inside and walked to the front room.
A man was carrying the principal, principal's box of baseball cards towards the front door. I am over, kids, he said when he saw me. So stay out of my way. I walked back outside, but something didn't seem right. Wait a minute, I said. He's moving things. I saw the man stepping into the small truck. A woman was sitting on the front set. She was holding something white and sloppy. Muffin, I said. Muffin looked at me through the window. She was scared and trapped. Stop, I yelled, but the truck stayed. Start moving, I had to do something fast. It's monkey time, I said. I, quick, I quickly jumped behind me, brushed. I closed my eyes and saw the sort of exciting things like eating cookies, like tricking Ross, like saving muffin. A wave of energy splashed through me. My head started spinning. My heart raced. Faster and faster, I sneezed. That too. Chapter 11, Cat Butlers. Ta-da! Is Monkey me to the rescue, Clyde? What's going on, Clyde? Butler were here. They took Muffin and Principal Murphy's baseball course, and now they're getting away. Did anyone see us? Just kid. But what can your kid do? We're back to our hideouts and we're rich. Stealing these cars was almost too easy. You think we've been followed? No, nobody could be that sneaky. Why did you take a cat? I'm a cat burglar. And she was making too much noise. What are you do going to do with her? Make sure she doesn't get away. Time for me to save the day. Quiet, quietly, the burglars have a baseball course. They have muffin, and now they have me. Ha ha! Look, I look what I caught. He saw, he saw me, cause he could sneak up on us, but. No, there's nothing sneakier than a cat burglar. Crap, except for a cat. Catch that monkey. Clyde? Chapter 12. Help? Claudia rolled her back towards me. What's, what's going on, Clyde? I need it. I need help, I said, but first you need to put your clothes on. Claudia pulled them from her backpack and had, had, had them to me. I quickly dressed, then I ran. I need to catch the burglars, I said. Claudia rolled her bike behind me. Aren't you running the Wrong way, Clyde. No, because I need help. Big help, I said. Like the police, Claudia asked. Yes, I said. But the burglars might be gone before the police get there. We hurried around the corner and onto the street where we live. I need help from someone who's fast and not afraid of anything. I said, I like police. Like Principal, like Principal Murphy, I ran towards her house. What, what will you tell her? Claudia asked nothing. I said, there's no time to explain things to her. I closed my son eyes and thought about these super exciting things like flying a kite like climbing monkey bars 
like catching bubblers with Principal Murphy's help. A wave of energy splashed through me. My hair raised faster and faster. I sneezed at you. Chapter thirteen. Got you. Tara, what are you doing, Clyde? I'm going in to get Principal Murphy. She isn't going to be happy to see you. That's my plan. I'll call the police. My plan is perfect. Principal Murphy is chasing me. She's following me inside the burglar's hideout. Nothing can stop us from catching the burglars. I think I'm stuck. Stop that! I'm stuck in the window. Do something! Uh oh, Principal Murphy is stuck in the window. I better do something. Nothing is happening. I think my arms are getting longer. She's not going anywhere, and I need to catch the burglar. It worked. Pot. Thanks, Clyde. Claudia, now I need to go in the door this time. Back inside. I can't wait for help. The burglars might get away. It's monkey time. Uh oh. Unlock this closet door. Ha ha, got you. Ha ha, got you. Ha ha, got you. The police were here. Good work, Principal Murphy. I have muffin and the, my baseball cards back. I did it. We did it. Thanks for the help, monkey. But stay out of my school. Got it. Welcome to the neighborhood. Chapter fourteen. Monkey me again. Slow down, Clyde. Buddy yelled the next morning. I I grabbed the banana off the breakfast table. I can't wait to sh- I can't wait for show and tell. I said, "What are you bringing?" Buddy asked. Principal. Principal Murphy, I ate the banana as I ran off out of the front doorway. Doorway. Claudia raced after me and grabbed my arm. You're bringing our principal. I nodded. I want to. I want. I went to her house yesterday after after she helped catching the catch bug catch the bugglers. I saw. Why, Clyde? Claudia asked. Principal Murphy has baseball cards that are pre- super special. I said, and worth lots of money. Claudia said. So I asked if I can bring some her of her cards to school for show and tell. I said, and she let you. Claudia asked. Sort of. I said. Principal Murphy told me she, she's, she's feel safer is. If she showed the cards to the class herself, I ran onto the playground. So I'm bringing Principal Murphy to show and tell, and she's bringing her baseball cards. Super, Claudia says. Super special, I said. And look at this. I pulled a baseball card from my pocket. I showed it to Claudia. A class dinner card, Claudia said. I grinned. Crystal Murphy has two, so she gave it to me to replace the one I lost. I lost in the playground bushes. Claudia smiled at me. I told you, Crystal Murphy would be nice. Be nice and nice. It would be a nice neighbor. I think she even likes me. I said, but not the monkey. You, Claudia said. At least not in school. I thought about Principal Murphy and her large nuts. So you better be careful, Claudia said. When the bell rang, I raced into school. I I ran down the hallway. I dashed into my classroom. It was hard to wait, but finally, in the afternoon, Miss Plum told the class it's time for show and tell. 
She looked at me. So what did you bring to show? She was like, I have Ross chocolate. I'll, I'll be right back, Miss Plum. I said, I better go with you, Claudia. said. She followed me into the hallway. I hurried towards the office. Be careful, Clyde. Claudia said, why? I bounced as I got closer. You're getting too excited, Claudia said. She tried to grab my arm, but missed. A wave of energy flashed through me. My head started spinning. My heart raced faster and faster. I sneezed at you. Clyde, stop. Girl, uh-oh. Here we go again. Thank you for watching and bye.